Welcome! Let's take a look at finding the parametric equations of a line in space. In this particular instance, we're looking at finding the parametric equations of the line containing the point 2, negative 1, 3, and it, the line is parallel to the line x of t equals 2t minus 3, y of t equals 5t uh, plus 4, and z of t equals t minus 5. So let's remind ourselves about parametric equations of the line. We can see the details in the lower right. Uh, to write the parametric equations of a line, you need a point. So in our formula here, uh, our point is x naught comma y naught comma z naught. And so we can see that borne out in these equations. And then we need a direction vector. And our direction vector provides details about the change in x along the line, the change in y along the line, and the change in z along the line. So those are the two pieces of information that I need to determine to answer this question. Now, we can uh, readily see that we were given the point so we already know what x naught, y naught, and z naught are. That is 2, negative 1, and 3. So when I go to write the equations for this line, I will be replacing x naught with 2, y naught with negative 1, and z naught with 3. So I know what goes in the position place of x naught, y naught, z naught. So now I need to determine what should be the change in x, the change in y, and the change in z. Now, if I look at the directions, I want parallel lines. And what do we know about parallel lines? Well, if we were talking in the plane, we would say that the lines have the same slope. So what does that mean for space? That means that the lines must point in the same direction. That means that the direction vectors must be scalar multiples of each other. So for my lines to be parallel, the um, direction vector of the new line must equal some scalar multiple of the direction vector of the existing line. That way we know that the two lines are parallel. So at this point I need to simply determine what is the direction vector for this existing line that I have. Well again looking at the structure here of our parametric equations we can see that the change in x, change in y, and change in z are the coefficients of our parameter t. So over here, I can see that my coefficients for my parameter t for each equation are 2 in the x equation, so my change in x is going to be 2. I've got negative 5 as the coefficient in my y equation. That means the change in y as we move along the line is negative 5. And then for the z equation, our coefficient is 1. So the change in z will be 1. Now that's the direction vector of the existing equation. Now the direction vector for my new equation can be any scalar multiple of this direction vector. Um, the easiest scalar multiple is just to simply choose that scalar to be 1. In other words, our direction vector for the new line is 1 times the direction vector of the existing line, or they have the same direction. So let's go ahead and use that. So our direction vector for our li new line that we're uh, creating is going to have a change in x of 2, 
a change in y of negative 5, and a change in z of 1. So at this point, I have all of the details that I need to be able to write each of these equa parametric equations for x, for y, and for z. So let's go ahead and do that. So x of t is going to be, and you can write the x naught first if you prefer, and then follow that with delta x times t, or you can write it the way it's presented here. Uh, my pre personal preference is to write it the way it's presented here. So my change in x in my direction vector is 2 times t plus the x coordinate of my point, that's 2. y of t is my change in y from my direction vector, so negative 5, then times t plus the y coordinate from my point, and of course I could write that as negative 5t minus 1 if I prefer. And then my z equation is going to be my change in z from my direction vector, so 1 times t plus the z coordinate from my point, which is 3. So our parametric equations for the line requested here are x of t equals 2t plus 2, y of t equals negative 5t minus 1, and z of t equals t plus 3. I hope you find this helpful.